award-winning show, Mrs. Brown's Boys. Please welcome Eilish O'Carroll. Sorry, I'm height-challenged. <laughs> and many other challenges. In 2011, the Civil Partnership Bill was written into Irish law. Without question, a huge achievement and another step closer towards equality for LGBT community. There was much celebration, and I have to admit, I partook in that celebration. My children were grown. They were independent, living independent lives. The Civil Partnership gave me the right to settle down with my partner, make it legal, and have it acknowledged by society as a whole. <laughs> However, my celebration was short-lived, because when I really closely looked at the Civil Partnership Bill, there were so many bits missing. Sorry, sorry about this. There are over 170 differences between civil partnership and marriage. I am not about, nor do I have the ability to highlight all of these differences. I would rather focus on the fact that my right to choose to marry my partner and enjoy the same social and financial benefits that come with civil marriage is still denied to me. We all know the saying, all men are equal but some more equal than others. The Civil Partnership Bill clearly demonstrates that the LGBT community are clearly viewed as less equal. As an Irish citizen, I have the right to be treated as equal. Our children deserve not only to be treated as equal, but that the law should protect their equality. Our family do be deserve to be recognized as a family. I truly believed that our democratically elected government would protect my rights and ensure that all citizens would be treated as equal. Instead, denying same-sex couples the right to civil marriage, the government consciously chooses to exclude the LGBT community and their children. And they see us as separate from the rest of society. We are not second-class citizens. We want what is just and fair. We want to raise our children in a stable, loving environment. We don't want our children to be victimized or bullied at school. We want the best for our children. We want them to be safe. In short, we want what all loving parents want for their children. Our children continue to suffer discrimination and as a mother myself I have to ask the question why? Why are our children denied in law the same protection and rights as children in a heterosexual marriage? Are they less important? No! Are they less valued? No! If our children are our future, what message is this government giving to our children? Three percent of the po Irish population support our demand for marriage equality. I would ask the government to listen to their voices. Listen to our voices. To use a quote from Oxfam, it takes a whole village to raise a child. We as a society are collectively responsible for the well-being and safety of all children. <laughs> the government has a duty to protect the rights of each individual child born into our society. Granting civil marriage to same-sex couples will protect our rights and the rights of our children. I ask you, what parent would settle for less? Thank you.